Before the new USS Gerald R. Ford is declared seaworthy, aside from cracking a bottle of champagne across her bow, she needs to withstand a blast from 40,000 pounds of explosives as part of the full ship shock trial. Oh great, but what about the fish? Well that is not what you think. The US Navy is not ignorant to the fact that marine life can be impacted during these tests. The test site and time are chosen carefully. For example, late spring off the coast of Florida is ideal because the whales and turtles have migrated north to feed and have fun, and they seem very progressive. The days leading up to the trial, an area with the lowest marine mammal and turtle population is specifically selected, and on the day of detonation, aerial and acoustic monitoring of marine life is conducted. If any marine animals are spotted within two nautical miles of the explosion site, the test is delayed. A marine animal recovery team made up of veterinarians and marine mammal behaviorist specialists assists the aerial and shipboard monitoring teams. A 2001 study of full ship shock trials found no dead or injured animals following the test.